In the 1920s, a German architect named Hermann Sörgel had a huge idea. It was called Atlantropa, or sometimes Panropa. Instead of just building a dam, he wanted to create a series of massive dams in places like the Strait of Gibraltar, the Dardanelles, and the Bosporus. His goal was pretty amazing, to change the shape of continents and make new paths for people to travel. Think of it like giant gates opening up new possibilities. But why did he want to do something so wild? And could his plan have actually worked? Let's find out in today's video. Hermann Sorgel noticed an issue with the world around him. Europe was becoming overpopulated. People needed more space to live and resources like energy were becoming more important as populations grew. Sorgel wanted to find a solution to these problems and he came up with an idea that seemed crazy to some, but brilliant to others. Well, that's the Atlantropa. Sorgel's concept for Atlantropa was bold. He wanted to change the shape of the Mediterranean Sea by building massive dams in strategic locations. These dams would create new land and open up opportunities for people to live and work in areas that were once covered by water. But why did Zergel want to do this? Well, he believed that by creating more space for people to live, Europe could avoid conflicts over land and resources. He also thought that if people had enough room and access to energy, they wouldn't need to fight each other. Zergel saw Atlantropa as a way to bring peace and prosperity to Europe and beyond. Interestingly, Zorgel's ideas about creating more living space were similar to those of Adolf Hitler, the leader of Germany during Zorgel's time. Hitler also believed in the concept of Lebensraum, or living space, for the German people. He thought that Germany needed more land to grow and thrive, and he was willing to use force to get it. While Sergel and Hitler shared some ideas about the need for more living space, they had different approaches to achieving their goals. Zorgel believed in peaceful solutions and saw Atlantropa as a way to avoid conflict. He wanted to use engineering and innovation to create a better world for everyone. On the other hand, Hitler's ideas about living space were much more aggressive. He believed Germany should expand its territory by conquering other countries. Hitler's vision led to the horrors of World War II and the suffering of millions of people. Despite their differences, Zorgel's ideas about Atlantropa caught the attention of some politicians and thinkers in Germany at the time. They saw his vision as a way to avoid the mistakes of the past and create a brighter future for Europe. Here are Zorgel's amazing strategic concepts for Atlantropa. Building a colossal dam across the Strait of Gibraltar to separate the Mediterranean from the Atlantic Ocean. Hermann Sörgel's vision for Atlantropa included constructing an enormous dam across the Strait of Gibraltar, aiming to physically separate the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean. This monumental barrier would effectively block the flow of Atlantic water into the Mediterranean, allowing the sea level to gradually decrease. The reduced water level would reveal vast expanses of new land, providing much-needed living space for Europe's growing population. Additionally, the dam would serve as a foundation for hydroelectric power generation, supporting the energy needs of the newly reclaimed territories and neighbouring regions. Engineering Marvels of Atlantropa – Transforming the Mediterranean Seascape Through Strategic Dam Projects in his ambitious Atlantropa plan, Hermann Sorgel proposed the construction of dams at key locations like the Dardanelles Strait and between Sicily and Tunisia. These dams were designed to isolate the Mediterranean Sea from surrounding bodies of water, contributing to the overall lowering of its water levels. By strategically placing barriers at these points, Zorgel aimed to control the flow of water in and out of the Mediterranean, facilitating the gradual reduction of its surface area. This reduction would reveal additional landmasses for human habitation and agricultural development, addressing the pressing need for living space and resources in Europe. Utilizing the dams for hydroelectric power generation to support the newly reclaimed land 
and Europe's energy needs. Hermann Sorgel envisioned the dams of Atlantropa as more than just barriers. They were to serve as engines of sustainable energy production. By harnessing the power of water flow through turbines within the dams, hydroelectric power would be generated on a massive scale. This renewable energy source would not only support the needs of the newly reclaimed land, but also contribute to fulfilling Europe's growing energy demands. With Atlantropa's focus on utilizing natural resources efficiently, hydroelectric power generation became a cornerstone of Zurgel's vision, providing a reliable and environmentally friendly solution to power Europe's burgeoning population and industries. Uniting Continents, the Eurafrica vision of Atlantropa, reshaping geopolitical landscapes. Expanding beyond the boundaries of Europe, Hermann Sorgel's Atlantropa vision aimed to unite the continents of Europe and Africa into a singular entity known as Eurafrica. This ambitious endeavor involved additional dam projects and extensive infrastructure development across the regions. By bridging the geographical gap between Europe and Africa, Zorgel envisioned enhanced connectivity and collaboration, fostering economic growth and cultural exchange. The proposed dams and infrastructure would serve as conduits for trade, travel and communication, facilitating a harmonious relationship between the two continents while further solidifying Atlantropa's status as a transformative force in the shaping of geopolitical landscapes. However, Atlantropa faced significant criticism and challenges. Worries about the overtly colonialist sentiment and the disrespect for the current African communities. Due to its colonialist undertones and disregard for the needs and rights of the current African communities, Atlantropa came under fire. Critics argued that the project reflected a Eurocentric perspective, imposing development plans without considering the impact on local communities. The disregard for the cultural and social fabric of Africa raised concerns about the project's ethical and humanitarian implications, prompting scrutiny and opposition from various quarters. Doubts about engineering feasibility, safety and astronomical cost. Many questioned the engineering viability, safety and exorbitant expenses of Atlantropa. Large-scale dam construction across vital locations like the Strait of Gibraltar drew criticism. There were concerns about the possible dangers involved in implementing such massive projects, as well as the structural stability of such constructions. Atlantropa's estimated costs also caused some people to scratch their heads, which made them doubt the project's durability and financial viability. Lack of political will and cooperation among European countries Despite the visionary ideas presented by Hermann Sörgel, the project failed to garner unified support from European governments. Disagreements over priorities, funding and national interests hindered collective action and stymied progress towards realizing Atlantropa's ambitious goals. The onset of World War II. Hermann Sorgel's visionary dreams for Atlantropa were tragically overshadowed by the outbreak of World War II and his untimely death in a car accident. The chaos and devastation of the war diverted attention and resources away from his ambitious project. Zorgel's demise marked the end of his grand vision, leaving Atlantropa relegated to the realm of unfulfilled dreams and historical curiosity. In the end, Hermann Zorgel's Atlantropa project stands as a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. However, it also serves as a reminder of the complexities and challenges inherent in realizing grand visions on a global scale. Despite its visionary concept, Atlantropa faced numerous obstacles that ultimately prevented its realization. What do you think about the merits and viability of Sorgel's concept? Is it really possible for such a huge project to succeed? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the upcoming video.